This is the first of several videos for finding the area of regular polygons. There are three basic types of regular polygons that you can use special right triangles for. If it's a regular hexagon, you can use 30, 60, 90 triangles. If it's an equilateral triangle, you can use 30, 60, 90 triangles, or you can manipulate it in order to uh, get the base and the height. Or if it's a regular quadrilateral or a square, you can use 45, 45, 90 triangles, which um, is something that you can use if you're given the radius of the square. But otherwise, you can probably just figure out how to find the area of the square using other methods. Otherwise, you will have to use SOHCAHTOA or trigonometry. Now, you can use SOHCAHTOA on the above cases, but in order to get exact answers, if it asks for an exact answer on a quiz or test, you will have to use 30, 60, 90, or 45, 45, 90 in these three cases. Otherwise, you will use SOHCAHTOA. You may be asking, what is a regular polygon? Well, it's a polygon that has a, a polygon, so it has a closed shape with a number of sides. It has all sides congruent, it's equilateral, and it has all interior angles congruent, so it's equiangular. The process for finding the area of a regular polygon, I use a five-step process. First, you find the central angle and draw a triangle. I will go over all of this in subsequent videos, but this is basically just kind of an understanding. Find the central angle and draw a triangle. Second, do the apothem split. Now, technically, it's pronounced apothem, but I think it sounds cooler when I say apothem, so that's what I'm going to do. Do the apothem split to cut that triangle into two congruent right triangles. Number three, use Sokotoa or 30-60-90s or 45-45-90s to find the missing lengths that are important for finding the area. Then you find the area of that triangle, and then you multiply by the number of triangles the shape would have that gets you the area of the regular polygon. In order to understand this a little bit further, we need to make sure that we understand the vocabulary that we will be using. So the center of a regular polygon is the same as you would expect in a circle or anything else. So the center is in the direct center of the polygon, and it's a point. The radius is a segment from the center to a vertex. So notice, you can actually draw as many radii as there would be to the number of vertices that there are. So in this hexagon, there are six radii that you could draw. I've drawn three of them. In this octagon, there are eight you can draw. And in this square, there are four that you could draw. So that's what a radius is. Radius goes from the center to a vertex. The apothem, or apothem, is a segment from the center to the side, to any side, and it forms a right angle. So basically, it is the regular polygon equivalent of an altitude. So all of these form right angles. And again, you can draw as many of these in a regular polygon as there would be sides. So there would be six apothems or apothems in a hexagon, eight in an octagon, and four in a square. The central angle is the same as it would be in a circle. So the central angle is the angle formed by two consecutive radii. So that would be, for example, this angle or this angle. 
Now we can find these in any of these regular polygons. So I can draw two radii here and then the central angle would be that angle right there. Now we can calculate the central angle by doing 360 degrees divided by n, where n represents the number of sides. So the central angle in a hexagon would be 360 divided by 6. That's a 60 degree angle. Now notice I have one, two of these shown, but if I drew all of the radii, this is 60, this is 60, 60, 60, 60, and 60. I would have six of these, and if I added 60 six times, I would end up with a total of 360 degrees. So basically, I find the measure of this by figuring out how many of these central angles there would be in the figure. And all of them are the same because it is a regular polygon. So a regular polygon is a polygon where all the sides and all the angles are the same. So in this particular case, uh, it would be 360 divided by eight because an octagon has eight sides and the central angle would be 45 degrees. And in the square, a central angle is 360 divided by 4, which is 90 degrees. So that central angle is actually a right angle. So 360 divided by the number of sides is equal to the central angle.